What's up YouTube? Chris Hayden here, Reticulous Reptiles. Uh, today is Sunday, April 2nd, and gorgeous day here in Denver. A lot warmer than I thought it was going to be. Uh, today, actually, I did a Repticon, as well as uh, I finally got to cut Zima's eggs. So, coming up next, guys, you're at Reticulous Reptiles. Hey guys, this is Chris here at Reticulous Reptiles. As you can see, I've got a little box of eggs in front of me. This is Zima's set of eggs. Uh, this was a super pastel bred to a lesser platinum, and so we are hoping to get some uh, some lesser pastels out of this. We'll see what happens, guys. Uh, tonight or this e uh, <laughs> this day, I'm going to be using my uh, Havilon uh, knife. As you guys can see, it's a uh, it's a scalpel style, so it's very sharp. Um, I just I'm not the most experienced at um, cutting the egg, so if I'm a little shaky, sorry. I believe I spy with my little eye. I don't know what that is. That could be... <laughs> it's alive, that's for sure. That could be a lesser pastel. That's a really pretty snake right there. Mm -hmm. It's way white. Um, not what I was expecting. All right, next. Oh, and I forgot to mention, these these eggs are uh, 54 days old. Normally, I'd want to wait another day, but uh, I mean, 50 days. Uh, a lot of people say after 50 days you're fine. Um, 55 days though, and me and my friend Zima, we would be at work, so we couldn't do it. So 54 days is just kind of the way we're gonna do it. Snake number two. Ooh, that one's definitely a pastel. That one's a really, really pretty pastel. Wow. Wow. So if that's a pastel, then it's... <laughs> there we go. I think that that is a lesser pastel, and I do believe that this one is a pastel. Bloody guys. <laughs> <laughs> On to the next. All right, there's another pastel. Now the benefit, I'm not sure if you even know this, Zima, mm -hmm. because your female was a super pastel, every single snake that you're gonna hatch today is at minimum a pastel. No, actually, because of all that blushing, that, that is a pastel, um, lesser. See all, Definitely. You see all the blushing and you see the brown with the yellow? Mm -hmm. That's a pastel lesser. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, quick little pause here. I do apologize. My phone ran out of memory while shooting um, the egg cutting, so we only got three eggs in, but uh, I did check all of the 
uh, animals. They are all alive. They all seem to be healthy. And uh, now it's just a matter of time to wait for them to come out on their own. All right? Thanks, guys, for the pause there real quickly. Back to the show. Hey, guys. Chris here. At uh, Actually, I'm at Denver's Repticon. Having a good time here. There's a pretty decent little turnout here, guys. Let's see here. Not too bad, actually. Um, pretty decent amount of people. Uh, some decent little vendors. Uh, Denver's Repticon, it's not the biggest, you know. It never has been, probably never will be, but it's nice to see that uh, that Denver's, you know, still giving it a shot, trying to expand its horizons as far as exotic pets go and everything like that. So, hey, I'm having a good time. Oh, guys, they've got like a little bird thing going on over here. Let's check this out. All right, guys, I'm here at the uh, Denver Repticon, and we've got a little treat here. So that's an American, what was it? Kestrel. American Kestrel, and it's the uh, North American smallest falcon. So, oh, cute little God. guy, guys. So this is an eastern screech owl. So they're very common to this area, or east of the Rockies. And he's full grown. He's roughly about five years old. Isn't that little guy just cute, guys? <laughs> Little teacup pig, guys. We haven't bred her yet, and he's the same. But they get, you know, they could all go. But <laughs> these two animals right here, eight, nine years old. They're not as big as your typical Gorgeous retake, guys. All right, guys, here we are at the end. It's been a great Sunday. I had a lot of fun today. Repticon was great. Um, I could have used a little bit more, um, a little bit more support, I guess you could say. Some animals were missing that are usually actually quite common at these shows. So um, I'd like to see some more support from that. And, uh, you know, I got to cut those eggs. That was a lot of fun today. I'll be updating that as uh, time goes on. I'm sure by next week, they'll probably be out of their egg, out of their shell, and, and ready to take on the world. So I'll be showing that to you guys. Uh, as I always say at the end of every episode, take care of yourself, take care of somebody else, and I'll see you guys next week. Uh, tonight, or uh, this evening, uh, go. To, uh, to expand its, um, 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 the, um, I, I don't know where I'm going with this.